just about set for football. The crowd is definitely ready. So are we. Off we go on EA Sports. He'll work his way across the 25-yard line. The New England offense getting ready to go to work here. And they're led by the number one overall pick in 2021, national champion at LSU, it's Joe Burrow. We're about to watch one of the most gifted passers in the league, Mike, and it's not only just his arm talent, that's of course off the charts, but his ability to process, his ability both pre and post snap to operate, maybe on a little bit of a different level. Quarterbacks around the league. I mean, he is surgical with his approach, and he's on the short list of truly elite quarterbacks we have to offer in this league. And for us to get a front row seat, man, how special is that? In the middle, he's got Gronkowski. And they'll be set up now. Up past the 40 with that one. Really impressive job by the quarterback to stay in there. He knew that hit was coming in the pocket, but he held it just long enough to let his receiver win versus man coverage and deliver that ball. Oh, he's going to be bottled up and taken down. They got him. That's Christian Barmore working his way in for the sack. The offense goes from feeling really good about the previous play with a real nice pickup to then on the ensuing play, ending up going the complete opposite direction. Really nice job here by the defense immediately getting back on track. And what do the coaches say? Just play the next play. And that's exactly what they did. Second down, Burrow. He'll get this complete. That's A.J. Brown. Still going inside the 20. And he will go all the way. A.J. Brown. Touchdown, New England. And that is the way to start a game. Not just score, but Greg, score quickly. A nice opening drive for the first six points. Well, it seems, Mike, the hour spent on that opening game script was time well spent. I mean, to take the ball right down the field that quickly, right out of the gates, that's a pretty good opening drive and an early six points. Now, Kaimi Fairbairn on for the extra point. He's got it. And the Patriots will take a 7-0 lead. So after the touchdown, here's Fairbear to kick it off. This one taken at the 10. And he'll work this one past the 25 to right about the 28-yard line. The Miami offense will make their way onto the field. They'll be led out by the lefty from the University of Washington. It's Michael Penix. There's a lot to like about this young quarterback, Mike. I mean, he has that intriguing skill set that has the potential to develop into something pretty special over time. There's undoubtedly going to be some growing pains. That's expected. But I'm excited to see what he does with this opportunity now that his number's been called. Set to go now on first and 10. Penix going to throw right away. A throw left side, but it's going to wind up in. You talk about a quarterback getting bailed out. 
man, that is a pick all day long. And as this defender enters the huddle, you see a bunch of his guys hitting him on the helmet. But I can promise you, they're saying, next time, you got to come down with that. And he's going to be brought down up past the 45. Every staff in the league that understands that we have to play a rookie quarterback, regardless of their talent, regardless of how high they were drafted, the ideal situation is to fill that huddle with as many veteran players as possible. The quarterback's going to be young. He's going to make some mistakes. The more veteran, talented guys around him, the easier it is to weather those mistakes. A hit as he throws there. It's going to wind up incomplete. The pressure got to him that time, and it'll set up second down. They got there in a hurry, didn't they, Mike? I mean, luckily for him, he saw that free rusher coming and at the very least was able to get that ball out to prevent the sack. Penix going to throw again. Packs to his big tight end, Gesicki. And he's going to be taken down right at the 25-yard line. These were the chunk plays they thought they could get here against this pass defense. They thought the passing game favored their offense in this matchup. And I think we can expect this to be the case the rest of the game. Again, it's Penix. That is hauled in at the five. And he will get into the end zone. Touchdown, Dolphins. And what a response by this offense. It's not easy taking the field, Mike, for the first time in the game. And you find yourself already down a score. They watch their opponent kind of march down the field and score in the opening possession. And they're able now to go out and square it on up. Allows you to take a deep breath, maybe get a little confidence for your defense to go out and get a stop, and they come over with this extra point. We got ourselves a tie ball game. The PAT, up and good. And the Dolphins come right back to tie it at seven. Team one possession, each team a score. 7-7 seven, seven as they kick it off. This taken in at the eight-yard line. And it'll be brought down past the 25. Decent field position to start this drive. The Patriots offense ready now for their second drive. We'll try to break out of this deadlock. We are all even at seven as they start this drive first and ten. Pass caught right side by Gronkowski. They get 11 and quickly pick up the first down. Every once in a while, it just comes down to you need somebody in the huddle to just make a play. And it wasn't a whole lot fancy here. The quarterback just dumps the ball down, a quick underneath completion. And then really, it's the yards after catch that did the rest. And that's what it takes. You're not always going to have the perfect play. You're not always going to dial up the perfect play against the perfect look. Sometimes players need to make plays, and that was a good one there. Again, it's McCaffrey. He plunges forward for a couple of yards. That's Juju Brents in on the tackle. They're going to try to pick this up on third and eight. Burrow from out of the gun here on third down. That's complete. He got it to Hopkins. And he's down inside the 40-yard line. A touchdown apiece here in the first quarter of play. All even on the scoreboard. Back with more Madden Ultimate Team after this. First and 10 now from the 36. Up the middle, here's McCaffrey. And a nice run there. He'll be stopped just shy of a first down. A pickup of nine. 
Mike, the old adage, you run to set up the pass. This modern offense nowadays, we're starting to see that flipped upside down on its head. Typically, the success of the passing game is what allows teams to have success. Oh, he pumps up the football. And it's recovered by one of his teammates. Sometimes these games in the NFL, Mike, they get decided by simply how the ball bounces. I mean, how often do we see a quarterback in the pocket get stripped sack, and that ball ends up going the other direction? Fortunately for them, they can regroup, get back in the huddle, and live another day. Ball falls into the hands of his own guy, and they'll see if they can dodge this bullet. It's a gain of 10 yards. Good for a Patriots first down. Two minutes to play. First half, all tied at seven. Greg and I continue in just a moment. The break the huddle coming up now for first and ten. Working out of the gun, Burrow. Uh, nowhere to get away, and he's going to go down. If there's any silver lining for this drive, Mike, it's the fact that at least this sack occurred on an early down so i guess technically they have a chance to claw themselves out of this hole but that's the third sack of the game and this defense doesn't show any signs of slowing down oh the ball comes out it's picked up by the dolphins inside the 40 and he rumbles his way into the end zone the bubble recovery and a great return for the touchdown. Well, Greg, they were playing with fire. He lost the ball once. This time, it is not only fumbled, but returned for a touchdown by the defense. Yeah, now you're starting to sense a little bit of a trend here, Mike. I mean, twice he's put the ball on the ground. This time leads directly to a defensive touchdown. He has to do a better job. Keep two hands on the ball. Ball security in the pocket. They work on it every single day in quarterback drills. It's gotten away from them today. This is something that defenses are going to continue to attack. Both teams ready to go once more as the kicks away. This will be returned from the six. And he is stopped at 25. The drive will begin then. The Patriots offense ready to get back to work. They trail now 14 to 7 as they'll come up for first and 10. From the shotgun, it's Burrow. A throw left side there, not going to find the target. Incomplete. So as halftime looms, Mike, they have to find a way to capitalize on this drive right here and make sure they end the half with some sort of points. Now, that incompletion, not ideal, but at the very least, it stops the clock. Catch your breath, get back in the huddle, and this next play, it's got to be a gotta-have-it best play call. This may look like a simple connection, Mike, just pitch and catch, but I can promise you the amount of time these two guys have spent together on the practice field, in the meeting rooms, just getting on the same page, seeing the game through the same set of eyes, makes what's pretty difficult seem a lot easier. Burrow now to throw on first down. He's got the 2021 Heisman winner. That's Devontae Smith. He'll come up here on second down and five. to throw is Burrow. Ah, fine work defensively. That's going to be knocked away. And go down as an incomplete. Jesse Bates able to come up with the play and knock it away. Third and five. Burrow now. He's got his tight end. That's Brunk. And he's going to have the first down. It is a gain of six. Good conversion on third down. To the sideline, and what a catch, and what a great job to keep the feet alive. Inbounds as good as you can do it. That's his third catch. Half, and good enough for a first down.
Here's Burrow. He'll be hit as he throws, and that one will wind up incomplete. Could not step into the throw that time. It'll bring up second down. You can't fault the quarterback on this one, Mike. He really didn't even have much of an opportunity. By the time he hit the top of his drop and got his eyes downfield, the defense was all over him, and he really had no choice but to just get that ball out of his hand and live to play another snap. Throw over the middle, brought in by Hopkins. And he's into the end zone. DeAndre Hopkins. Touchdown, Patriots. A terrific play all the way around. Finished off by the receiver, who not only made the grab, but Greg turned it up and takes it into the end zone. And that's the tricky part, Mike, that transition from receiver to runner. And in this case, he does it flawlessly. Look the ball in, secure the catch, and then get upfield and get yourself in the end zone. Fairbairn able to add the extra point, and the Pats will tie things up. We are all even at 14. They didn't leave much time on the clock to put together a drive here at the end of the first half, and the kickoff's coming their way. The return starts from the five. And this will work out quite well. He'll get it all the way out to the 30-yard line. On first down, it's Penix. He's got a man open. That's Tolbert. And he's going to take this one all the way. 70 yards. Touchdown, Miami. That is just a complete disaster. I mean, we're in the final seconds of the first half, Mike, and you give up a huge explosive play that results in a touchdown. No matter what you've done all half, it completely changes the game. Now the try for an extra point. He's got it, and the Dolphins have broken the deadlock as they move out to a 21-14 to 14 lead. Final second now of this first half as this one is away. A safe kick taken at the five. And he's going to be taken down as time runs out on this first half of play. So we have reached halftime. These two teams separated by a touchdown. As we send you to our studios in Orlando, here's Jonathan Coachman with the EA Sports. Halftime report. It's all yours, Coach. Okay, Michael, thanks very much. And with that, we welcome you all into our EA Sports studios. This is the halftime report. In the first half, it was the rookie number eight overall pick, Michael Penix, who had it working out there. He fired his guys into the lead with two first-half touchdown passes as they were looking like a well-oiled machine in the first half of play. First half played out a bit as we expected. We'll see if there's a surprise coming up. Both teams set to go, and the second half is underway. <laughs> nice job on the return. He's down close to the 35-yard line. Dolphins offense looking to get back to work as we begin this third quarter. They lead by a touchdown as this drive begins with first and ten. Man in motion, it's Diggs. On play action, Penix. Unloads downfield looking for Nakua. And he will score. Puka Nakua, touchdown Miami. Well, that is a quick drive and the best way to finish it. The touchdown pass downfield. Greg, you rarely see a deep shot like that to start a drive. You're right, Mike. We don't see it a lot, but I wish we did. It's actually the most efficient and safest down to pass the ball. And in this case, the defense is thinking run. Got a lot of defenders up in the box, and they're able to strike deep with a pass play for six. Look, 
kickoff team is out on the field. And we're back to it as the kick's away. From the six, here comes a return. And a decent return there. He'll get this up just shy of the 30. The Patriots offense and Joe Burrow set to take over again. And he has been in control this offense. Want to run you through some of the action from earlier on. He's got the two touchdown passes, over 200 passing yards. He has been excellent all game long. On first down, Burrow. A short pass taken in by Gronk. And that keeps him ahead of schedule. That's a first down completion of seven yards. Not every pass has to be thrown downfield. You can rely on the run after catch, especially a big body like this tight end. Get the ball in his hands early and let him pick up the rest after the catch. And that's going to be incomplete. Coverage was good that time. The contact jarring the ball loose and forcing third down. He was looking for A.J. Brown that time. Third down coming up. Back to throw. Burrow. He gets that to Brown. And he looks to be a bit short of the line. And that is going to bring up fourth down. As a play caller, those are the plays that just drive you crazy, Mike. You think you're going to pick up the first down. You get tackled just shy of the sticks. And now, a little bit of a gamble here on fourth down. He'll take this in back at the 16. And good coverage by the punt team. They stop him before he can get any return cranked up. Out comes Miami and the offense to get started on their next drive. The lead is a couple of touchdowns as this drive kicks off first and ten. From the gun, it's Penix. The open man is Tolbert. That's the way to get started. A pickup of 17 and a very quick first down. Mike, think back to our conversation during the break. We've kind of both asked ourselves, are they content with this double-digit lead? Do they come out and play conservative here in the second half? Well, it took exactly one play to get our answer. So, from the 36, it is first and 10. We'll go play action now with Penix. That's to the left side and taken in by Diggs. And he's down on the other side of midfield. Markham at the 48-yard line. Now, this is the epitome of a really short throw and a really nice run after catch. And listen, for a quarterback, it all counts the same. You don't always have to throw the ball downfield to generate explosive plays. And these drag routes can be very, very effective. And he can't hang on through the contact. It's incomplete. What a good job defensively to meet him just as the ball was arriving. And it'll be second down. A rare miss for a quarterback that we've seen really come out on fire throughout this entire contest. I mean, his completion percentage, Mike, is well above league average. And frankly, it's really the biggest reason why they find themselves out in front. And this throw batted away and incomplete. Wow, uh, that's two straight plays now where this secondary has won their matchup. And right now the offense needs to find some plays that just call for easy completions. Get your wide receivers in space. Allow them to run after the catch. Because right now these downfield passes, the defense is all over. And they're going to move this ball inside the 25-yard line. I know, I know, I'm biased. But listen... You can't convince me, Mike, that there's a better option on the field, especially when you got a guy like this, than on third down or critical moments. That's where the ball needs to go. The size, the speed, the matchup problems that he creates. If I was in a critical situation, there is no doubt where I'm going with the ball.
Play action. It's Penix. He's got it inside the five. And he'll take it on in. Touchdown, Dolphins. That is his second touchdown tonight. That is yet another touchdown pass. What a game he is having, throwing his fourth touchdown score of the game. It's one thing, Mike, to throw four touchdowns, but it's really the ease in which he's carved this defense up that has stood out the most. The defense has had no answers for this passing game, and he has just completely had his way with this group. The extra point, up and good. And the Dolphins will extend this third quarter lead. Both teams ready to go once more as the kicks away. This will be returned from the six. Now an opening past the 30. And he's brought down right at the 35-yard line. A first down throw for Burrow. He's hit after the catch, and the ball comes free. And the defense has it. Mike, we hear that term run after catch so often, and sometimes people miss that there's kind of a middle phase. There's the catch, but before it turns into a run, you have to secure the ball as a ball carrier, right? It needs to be put away, properly held, points of pressure, front tip up against your body. All of that is kind of taken for granted. Catching it is just step one. You've got to secure the ball before you become a runner. Ball rests at the 37. It's first and 10. Gasicki, the man in motion. Throwing now. Penix on first down. He's got Gasicki open down the field. A gain of 21 on that pass play. Good for a Dolphins first down. So we are through three. This is Madden Ultimate Team on EA Sports. Ball down to the 16-yard line. And it's first and ten. Panics now off the bootleg. He'll find Mostert out of the backfield. And he's brought down after a gain of six on first down. Great example of first down efficiency. You don't always have to go for the big play. But put yourself in a friendly second down. Now you have equal opportunity to both run and pass. On second down, Penix. He'll throw it left and has his running back. And he's out of bounds at the five, and they're in business. It is first and goal. Gasicki, the man in motion. Here's Mostert. And he will take this one across into the end zone. Raheem Mostert. Touchdown, Miami. And that touchdown probably, Greg, ends any small hopes of a comeback on the other side. Yeah, and I think those chances, Mike, were small to begin with. But with that last score, I think this one is pretty much over. Point after try, forthcoming. It's up and good. And the Dolphins will open it up even further here in this fourth quarter. The kickoff team is out on the field, and we're back to it as the kick's away. Now, here comes a return from the nine. And he'll be brought down just beyond the 25-yard line. The Pates offense and their quarterback set to take the field once more. 
And it has been a rough night at the office. We go through the highlights. They are really lowlights. Relentless pressure. Receivers unable to get open. They cannot connect in the passing game. It has been a night to forget for the quarterback. On first and ten, Burrow. And they'll bring him down, but not until he gets to the 38-yard line. Not a whole lot complicated about this play, Mike. That was understanding where the holes of the defense were. Remember, in this zone coverage, you got to find green grass, get past the first down marker, be friendly to the quarterback, and then the ball has to be out on time before those zone defenders can react to the rest. And he cannot get away, brought down. And that sack will bring us to the two-minute warning. Second down, Burrow. And this ball's going to be incomplete. He was looking for A.J. Brown that time. And it'll be third down. This is one of those situations that plays directly into the hands of the defense because think, like, they know this offense has to be one-dimensional. This has to be a pass. So what do they do? They bring in extra defensive backs. They clog up the back end. And at the end of the day, there's just nowhere for the offense to go with the ball. Open man left side is Brown. He's got it. And he'll gain some yardage here, but that is not nearly enough for the first down. It's going to bring up fourth down. Working out of the gun, Burrow. That's taken in. And he's going to have the Pats for his down. And it's a big letdown there defensively. Somehow they allow them to convert on fourth and long. From the shotgun, it's Burrow. This one into the hands of Brown. And he's brought down after a game of six on first down. Similar to a tight end, the slot receiver is often considered the safety blanket. He makes all the difficult catches, tends to be a little bit more around the line of scrimmage, and so far today, he's... And that'll be intercepted by Tredavious White. And the Dolphins will take over at their own 15. First and ten, it's Penix. That is knocked away. Incomplete. Good coverage there defensively. All over him. And it'll be second down. On the bootleg, he'll look to throw. That's to his big tight end, Gusicki. And he will have this at midfield, forced out of bounds there. Rookie from Washington on target with that one. It is a first down. Well, I think one thing's for sure, Mike. I don't think we're seeing an offense that is comfortable with this late lead. They're continuing to put pressure on the defense and say, hey, I don't care how much we're up by. We're going to continue to execute our passing game. And if there's opportunities downfield, we're going to continue to take them. They'll throw on first down with Penix. He's got a man open. That's Tolbert. And this is going to be a touchdown. They are going to extend the lead here in the final minute of play. They continue to add points. Greg, very interesting here. They are just rolling up the score even though we're in the fourth. No doubt, Mike. I mean, this offensive play caller has no let up. I mean, he's going to see how many points can I put on this scoreboard before that clock runs out. The 
The extra point try forthcoming. His kick is good. And the Dolphins stretch things out even further. So the kickoff team out there one final time in the final minute as they kick it away. He fields it at the eight. He'll work his way across the 25-yard line. So now the New England offense getting ready for their next possession. Let's go back and scroll through some of their drives. One theme, Greg, going to keep emerging throughout too many turnovers yeah i think it's been a combination of just carelessness right some sloppy play offensively that has caused some of them but also let's give some credit to the defense i think in a lot of the cases they're also forcing these takeaways punching the ball out going up for interceptions they've been in the right place at the right time so combination of really good defense at times and at times really bad offense that's a nice pickup on a first down throw it's a gain of eight So a win here for the Dolphins. And it was their defense that led the way as they pitched a shutout in the second half. No points allowed. And they cruised to victory. So that'll just about do it for Greg Olson and our entire team. I'm Mike Tirico. You've been watching the NFL on EA Sports. For more, log on to EA Sports. Com. With that, we say good night.